All right, guys, uh, moment of truth here on the soft start and uh, update on the chiller punch in here. Uh, <laughs> I got my uh, lobster suit on here for, for doing the two punching, and I've been putzing around with this in between uh, when my back gets so sore from standing there punching tubes, then I can switch off and come over here finish this job what was really bothering me was uh, these two wires I didn't know where to land these two wires on the terminal strip on the original one everything was full uh, I had two two of those uh, plug-ins and they were all labeled going through the book it was uh, just not I didn't have a spot to land those so I end up having to cut all these ties and uh, turned out they were up here on uh, 14 and 15 which don't go to anything so evidently this cabinet was wired for an accessory that I don't have and that's often the case what's really aggravating though is that you know a lot of times they'll put see how this is on our side when we do stuff we we put a number you know we label the wire so you know you can find the other end of it find the corresponding wonder wire but on the factory stuff here they uh sometimes it's printed right on the wire itself uh and only on like an inch if you get on these big carrier chillers they got miles of wire in there it seems like and uh they just have the one little label i don't know how they print that on there but uh they probably prefab those wiring harnesses and have a special machine but what i uh ended up finding the big uh the big uh puzzle for me on this one was the uh operating voltage drop from uh 480 on my uh these two wires originally had 480 volts going to them and you say wow that's awful small wire but this is only control power it's the amperage there's very little amperage as protected by a quarter amp fuse and generally we use fuses to protect the wire um, so uh, normally you know you have big wire like this this is what the load is going through to the equipment but uh, for control power you can have high voltage with, but it has very little amperage so they can use that smaller wire and uh, we're uh, I tied it into these original fuse block but I rewired it I came directly off this transformer uh, because this new soft start only required 110 volts and we're providing it 130 so uh, let's give it a shot see if all the smoke stays in uh, and I'm going to uh, this might appear like it's unsafe but uh, I've already gone through this once but I there's uh you just <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing this rubber rain suit there's a safety here I'm pushing down now the cabinet is energized what I had is uh, I use these jumpers this is uh, <laughs> a HVAC mechanics best friend right there baby uh, you're always having to test stuff and bypass safeties and different things and don't take that wrong do not think lightly of that don't make a habit of doing that unless you absolutely for sure know why you're doing it and what the consequences could be think ahead and be safe but sometimes it's necessary so you never want to stand in front of one of these cabinets when you energize it. That's why they have these heavy steel doors here. They're not for looks. I went to several classes and they show where people, it's an explosion uh, and people just get third degree burns or die from uh, being cooked. Uh, standing in, Just standing in front of the cabinet when the power is energized uh, or a wire, a large wire goes to ground. You just, this is just, you only get one shot with this. Like I said before, when a plumber makes a mistake, he has to go take a shower and he's a little embarrassed. Electrician makes a mistake, sometimes the, that's the end of it. Okay, so we got our switches up here, normal and off, and I'm gonna put it in the hand position. Okay, I can hear that pump running. 
I'm watching amps show on the gauge. Okay, there it just kicked that second kick that you heard was it went from the soft starter to the main contactor and we're pulling 53 amps. That's uh, got a decimal point in front of that last one. So we'll go over here to the pump and uh, make sure that it's running and everything is smooth. So glad I got this done before we needed the chiller. All right, she's running pretty good. And amperage on this one, volts, amps, 60 amps. Wow, we're doing really good. Well, that's pulling 52 amps over there. This pump is functioning, and we're below the, the motor tag rating. That's really good. Uh, last time it was 63. Uh, before we on the old soft start Wow okay so that's working that's that's a good thing heading up for my weekend I got one more day this is my Thursday and uh, we uh, don't have any help today but that's okay I'll take anything I can get and I uh, really appreciate uh, my co-workers uh, seeing the old man struggle here and some of them are old guys too and we when there's labor jobs like that we help each other out I appreciate that uh, I don't think any of them watch my videos all right so we turned it back off what I'm gonna do is pull this down you just don't want to have doors open and cabinets open you got to be safe you got to wear the proper gear. This is this is because I'm punching tubes. I'm wearing all this this rubber and vinyl. But like I said, I I get I get too tired standing there punching those tubes, and then I uh, need to take a little break. So I just decided to come over here and work on this for a while. And seeing as how we may need this later. all the cabinet doors okay so this is powered up the switch is off I'm gonna put it to auto it's in normal and pull the tag off the chiller make sure the chiller is ready to go we got them tubes cleaned out the other day in a way I hope we don't need it because I got this sump full of dirty old swamp water and I want to uh, okay Side A and put it back in auto and if they need it they're ready to go. Always use these uh, lockout tag outs on your controls. Uh, if you have to tag out, if you're you know got a piece of equipment down or the cover open, use a padlock. Take your disconnect down. That's all this is, is a disconnect. If this, if you're working on something, put a padlock on it. You don't want somebody, could even be your boss or somebody, you know, else on the crew, different shift or something. You just don't want to take a chance, and uh, you don't get many chances when you're dealing with this 483 phase. It'll uh, blow body parts right off you. Anyhow, I'm babbling. I uh, just wanted to give you a little closure on that uh, soft start and I uh, was glad to see it myself. So have a good day. Thanks for watching, commenting, subbing. Easy Jeezy out.